in this video, I want to talk about the underlay animations. Now, I w wanted to share with you that I didn't just add these to the program just because they're fun or cool or whatever. It may seem a little random, but there's some actually some really useful stuff that I wanted to suggest to you that you can use. I'm sure you're going to come up with awesome ideas yourself, but here's a few things, and this is why I designed it and why I added it to the program. I've got a little kind of a faux logo here. So I'm just imagining that I've created this logo for my company. Incidentally, I created this with the Easy Vector Editor design pack, which if you are a uh, month, uh, full, uh, lifetime update member of Easy Animator, then you have this in your uh, membership area. It's in the uh, kind of the middle right. It's the first power vector of the month that you get for free. I just threw this together really quick. So I'm going to get back over here. To easy animator and I've got that in here now and so what I'm going to do here is I've already got an animation that I put together it's going to zoom in uh, from you know small to, to large to going to do a small animation but in this case notice that I've got a pause animation and and with my logo I probably wouldn't normally want to do that if I would normally want it to be taken a little bit more seriously and so I probably would just let it stand there. Normally when you have something like, you know, your logo or some text that you want to be read, you're, you're not going to want to have that move around so that they can, you know, see it and view it better. But at the same time, you want to draw attention to it and have some, some uh, additional, you know, uh, focus, something to draw the eye. And that's what these underlay animations are particularly good for. And so what I've done is I've, I've layered that. Now I'm going to go ahead and yeah, show you uh, we've already we've already done we've got these two little blasts here number one and number two and they play basically number two plays a half a second or so after the first one so they do end up kind of overlapping a little and i'm going to come over here to this one i really like the little flare that happens at the end there with this and you can see here that i've got this is too big so i can size this down a little bit to uh, we, we still working on constraint by the way uh, and just kind of get that so that I can see those animations better. And the cool thing is, is if I export this to SWF, it really doesn't matter what the size is here. I can, um, if I'm using something like Explaindio, I can import it and size it to whatever I want because it's resolution independent vector, including those underlay animations. Those are vector animations as well. And so I can get this nice little effect. And what happens is I'm drawing the eye even after it's stayed there. And this part of the of the animation or the imagery is static and can be viewed and, and everything. But this th that additional kinds of underlay kind of you know sp uh, sparks and, and and flares and everything that gives it a little bit more dramatic feel to it and a little bit more substance, so that it really is have increasing the cool factor. And that's really what those underlay animations are for. They're really to to draw the eye a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna. Um, Let's import another thing here. Now, I've given this to you for free. If you are getting this from the email that I sent out, it's going to be in the email. And if you are a lifetime member, it's going to be these these icons. There's eight of them. These uh, rotating uh, 3D icons are going to be available right below the, the tutor tutorial video in the member area. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I have a different thing kind of going on here. I just have a rotating uh, icon. Now, in this case, I don't. there's nothing that needs to be read. It's not a serious icon. It's more of a concept right um in this case it would be you know obviously like e-commerce or shopping or something like that and in that case having i don't i can probably kind of have a little fun with it you know i can do something like this to draw the eye and you can see now that my my uh, flare my underlay animations still have a, a nice little effect of kind of making it more playful and cool and everything but and, and draws the eye but um, you know here it's still fine to combine it with the animations I just wanted to kind of make that kind of point but it's still you know very cool and fun and this is the sort of thing where you know I might in this case um, take advantage of the ability to colorize these because uh, I might want to make that match the uh, little icon better. So I'm going to come in here and give these um, the color that colors that are very close to that um, little uh, icon there. And you can see that uh, it, it can really kind of make it blend a little bit better. I'm just trying to use slightly off colored, I mean, different colored ones, not all the same. 
and uh, get that kind of effect going where the animation is a little bit more uh, integrated or a little bit more feels like it's a part and doesn't, um, you know, the, the contrast is not there as much. So it just kind of blends a little bit better. So that's the nice thing about the ability to colorize these. And so that is, in my view, uh, one of the better utilizations of the underlay animations is really to draw attention to uh, the object. And I think at times you want there to be some contrast and sometimes you want it to blend a little bit better and, and that's why uh, it's very handy to be able to colorize those animations. So we're going to be adding more to this. We're going to be adding the ability to move them around, size them, and adjust the timing. So uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, I hope you get a lot of value out of this. And if you come up with some neat ideas uh, on how to use these, please do share them on the Facebook page. Thanks a lot.